Next up on Don't You Dare, join me, Danielle Anthony, and the rest of the March of Dimes crew as we work our magic on a young woman by the name of Bella. Bella's going to need a dose of my advice to get through our Don't You Dare makeover. She's a true disaster case, and we'll see if she's up to the challenge. Hi again, and welcome back to Don't You Dare. Let's start things off by showing you how we were first introduced to our makeover nominee. So my roommate Bella, who I love, is my best friend in the whole wide world. Let's just say she needs a little help in the health and wellness department. Check this out. That's breakfast, lunch, dinner, right there. Hmm, no vitamins in here. She even missed her last GYN appointment. Bella just doesn't take her health seriously. Gabby, not to worry, we're on the case. the size of that coffee concoction thing. And is that a donut? Oh no, no, no. Come on, let's go. Good morning. How are you? What is this? Do you know who we are? Um, that reality show? Don't you dare, Danielle, that's right. And guess what? Gabby has nominated you. Nominated me for what, like, like right now? Hey, no time like the present to become a better woman than you already are, right? That's right, let's go. Bella, face it, you've been busted. You don't live healthy. Fine, fine. So, like, what do I do now? Hey, first of all, it's gonna be okay. All right, here's how it works. We give you an action plan with little adjustments that can have a big impact on your health, on your general well-being. First up, a gym membership. We have to exercise at least 30 minutes on most, if not all days, so take it. Okay. And if you can't get to the gym, you've got too much going on at work, at home, whatever, then you make small choices, like taking the stairs instead of the elevator, or, or walking to work when you can. Because it's all about the little decisions that have the lasting impact for your heart, for your weight, even your reproductive health. Really? Really. One a day, every day. All women our age should take a multivitamin. It's just too hard to get all we really need from food alone. Yeah, I take them sometimes, but they're so expensive. Oh, true, they can be. But here's a little tip. Name brands are no better than store brands, and store brands are cheaper. So just read the label and make sure that there's 400 micrograms of folic acid. Folic acid? Folic acid. That's key. Okay. That's probably enough for one day, right? You think you're ready to get back out there? Yeah. All right, come on, we got work to do. Lettuce has seen better days. This smells really bad. All right, here comes the hard part. Gonna work out. Ready, Mama?
Nice. You must feel good. All right, you're on your own now. Okay, go get him. It's all about the little decisions that have the lasting impact. For your heart, your weight, even your reproductive health. Bella, what are you doing? I know, I know. What can I say? I'm a weak person. We're all weak. You were doing so well, but you forgot to have a good breakfast. You were hurrying for work, you were hungry, and then temptation struck. I know, I have a weakness for the donut. Well, you're not alone. You just have to remember that this is not an ideal breakfast. All that sugar, fat, caffeine, it affects your, your weight, your energy level, even your ability to get a good night's sleep. Look, have this instead. It's gonna make you feel way better. It just takes practice, but the more you do it, the easier it's gonna get, and the better you're gonna feel. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be late to work though. Okay. Hey. Water. Ultimately, it's up to you to take control and say, hey, you know what? I'm worth it. I gotta treat myself right. Yeah, I know you're right. I just have to start living that way. You will. She's gonna be okay. Bella ended up doing quite well for herself. She went from being someone who was completely mindless when it came to taking care of herself to having a pretty good sense on how to live healthfully. She's taking a multivitamin every day and working out several times a week. Sure, maybe she's not perfect, but she's moving in the right direction. So what's next on Don't You Dare? Another hopeless victim gets busted for practicing some bad habits. Check out this big fat hypocrite. What? Shut that off.